Big fella, I already know you want them arms to grow. Big fella, I am already fully aware that you are tired of having to change your shirt five or six times before you go out because you're not satisfied with how your arms look in the sleeves. Big fella, I already understand that at this point, you don't even wear tank tops right now because you don't like how the tank top is tank topping when you got it on. The reason I know this is because when I was 165 pounds soaking wet and I wanted to put on size, I felt the exact same way. And this is why I'm taking y'all back to the gym with me today, because I'm going to show you three of my favorite bicep exercises that literally helped grow my arms. And in addition to that, I'm going to show you an insane bicep finisher so you can add to the pump. So if you're going out tonight and you're rocking a t-shirt, this is the exercises you want to use prior to the occasion. So you might be watching this and you may be thinking, well, why should I listen to this dude, right? Who is he? Well, if you hadn't heard, it's your man, 100 grand, Mike Trotter, and I am the PT boss, your favorite trainer's favorite trainer, and welcome back to another YouTube. At this point, I'm excited to have y'all here yet again for another banger. So we're going to take this pre-workout and we're going to head to the gym and get to it. You heard? <laughs> Big fella, as you can see, we just completed arm day. And out of that arm day, I showed you guys my three go-to bicep movements. Those were my go-to when I was really focused on growing my arms, right? Focused on building that muscle, focused on making them t-shirts fit how I wanted them to fit. And, you know, um, sometimes I find myself getting away from those basic movements because as you can see, they were all basic. And then I think to myself like, man, I want to blow them arms up again. And I always find my way right back to those basics. And the thing about those movements, they were all movements that didn't allow me to cheat as much. So as you can see, I didn't really need a lot of heavy weight to execute those movements. But, you know, given exercise one was the preacher curl easy bar um, and had my arms locked down. Can't do a lot of swinging on that. Exercise two was also on a preacher curl, but we did the hammer hitting the bicep at a different angle again didn't allow me to swing. Exercise three was the spider curl, um, chest supported, dumbbells, again, couldn't swing. So, you know, what you'll notice is you won't need a lot of weight to execute those, but you'll find them highly effective for blowing up those well, biceps. I would be right if I let you guys get out of here with thinking that the only key to blowing up them arms is the biceps. Obviously, you've got your biceps, you've got your triceps. In fact, the tricep is actually a bigger part of the arm so i'll show you guys some exercises that i do for that if you're interested in the next video comment down below and let me know that you want to see it the other thing half the deal is how you train like breaking the muscle down that's what you just saw us do in the gym but the other portion is what you do to prioritize your recovery so that's how you sleep that's how you eat that's how you hydrate that's your post-workout nutrition um i'm personally about to go have Form me one in ignition, which is our post-workout recovery shake to get that recovery process started right away. 
Um, that way I'm less sore next workout. And obviously the harder I can go next workout, then the better results that I get. So it's not only the training that matters, but it's also how you recover. But if you made it to this point in the video, I appreciate you sticking around and rocking with us. Stay tuned for the finisher. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Share this video with a friend, big fella. And I'll see y'all next time, all right? PT Boss, out. Your favorite trainers, favorite trainer. <laughs>